Hey guys, this is Ejaz. I am the director for our film Trapped. We have decided that Trapped is going to be released January 30th, 2025. Many movie theaters have come forward to help us release this. So, so, so happy and so grateful that people are reaching out. So many people have sent us so many comments and so many good things. It just makes everything worth it. You know, reading comments, they're speaking about how it is going to help other kids and parents and so on. It just makes everything worth it. You have this idea of, of human trafficking, but when you get to see it, you know, in a movie through the eyes of a victim, um, the like visual representation really helps it click for, for a lot of people. Hopefully they see their children kind of through me, through their grandchildren, through me. They see like their siblings, then make an attempt to be more aware of it or share the film. I am hoping it makes the parents speak to the child. You will reach to them. I know that. I know that for a fact. You're the best daughter in the world. <laughs> <gasps> Mommy put his hand on my thigh while we were driving to Paul's. You don't want to see me happy, do you? The main reason I think people don't uh, want to talk about it is because they're afraid of what they don't know. And it's a dark, unknown thing that they don't know a lot about. And so it's, it's, we push it off into the corner. We want to pretend that it doesn't exist. Um, I talked to people who, who had family members that were committing, you know, multiple sisters that were being raped by their father and, and, and multiple instances where pe people were being you know, taken advantage of throughout their entire, entire childhood. And so it's uncomfortable for people to think about that and to talk about that. And so I think it's our job as artists to lean into the uncomfortability and be open to, to these dialogues with people like that and to share films like this so that not necessarily we make the audience uncomfortable, which they will be and they should be, but so that the audience walks away going, how can I be less numb to this and ignorant to it. So by watching this and being involved in this, we become more educated and we can actually do something about it. And we can change, we can change the world through being educated. We're conditioned to keep things, you know, what happens in the family stays in the family and, you know, things get, don't get talked about on the outside world. And I think that has to change. I think children especially are so vulnerable and we as a society need to break the silence of, you know, keeping things hush hush because the sexual abuse, it, it's. It's too rampant and it needs to stop. I know people that have been sexually abused. I've been sexually abused in my past. I felt it was my duty to bring this character and to, you know, bring myself to do whatever it is I had to do to make this film what it is. Is this case really getting to you? Her parents said she usually got a ride home from a friend. If you didn't leave any clue, this isn't his first. And it won't be his last. What do you think a victim should do? Because sometimes you find yourself in a situation that you don't even know how it happened and all of a sudden you're a victim. So once that happens, how quick should they act? I think it's a stepwise approach. And the first thing that I would tell anybody is your own personal safety. Um, that's got to be paramount because sometimes making those decisions, well, oh, you should just leave. It's not that simple and could be putting you at personal risk. So I'd say personal safety first. Um, second to that, assuming you've been successful in some way of, of removing yourself from that situation, is then looking at the healthcare piece, right? You may have been more than likely have been exposed to a variety of infectious processes. You need treatment for those things. There are lots of resources for that, whether it's, you know, your local emergency room, um, rape and abuse centers that can all help with that. And I think each one of those is really important. But I think at the end of the day, what will become the most important is the mental health support that you're going to need. No one is going to get through a situation like this unscathed. Um, 
and and that's not just a quick one and done hey let me meet with somebody yeah you're good yeah i'm good and motoring on for the rest of their life sadly more often than not when you're exposed to trauma like that like capital t trauma um that's something that will very well require some level of mental health support for years if not the rest of your life why do you think in our society we like to you know hush hush this topic and not talk about it i have no idea why this is not talked about more um as somebody who thinks all these things should be discussed at an as early of an age as possible i i just couldn't fathom why it's not i think that it's important for parents to discuss with their children that this is in fact reality and that this happens it's unfortunate um but i think that putting it out there to your children you're especially i'm it it affects men and women boys and girls but uh at an early age i think that parents need to intervene and and tell their parents that this is something that happens you know it's a shit world we live in there's bad people out there and unfortunately this is something that we have to look out for and and um you know there there i think when the parents intervene at an early age then maybe the kid whether they're 11 or 12 or 13 years old they will get the idea in their head okay this is a possibility this is something i need to look out for this is something i need to stay away from and not and to make sure that i don't get sucked into this because i think that it can happen whether you know it's happening or not please say something i don't even know where we are or where we're going come on let's go to my ranch you'll be very happy there it's a huge issue and the first part of getting rid of something dark bad is awareness like you get educated on it and then you act on that in ways that all of us can do that we have millions of people in slavery today that's wrong on a human level on a human level that is wrong and every body should be on board to just end trafficking in any form it's been just exhilarating and hard and um all the emotions from one end of the spectrum to the other because it's a difficult topic if we can make a movie that can change one person's life it will be a success action <laughs> 